What? Is it even worth pricing out? I feel a little ripped off, but... Oh, shit, this is Portuguese. Oh, this is from the starter deck. The starter deck Kaiba. <laughs> and it's worth about... What's up, guys? And uh, welcome to another epic unboxing. Not quite a box. It's actually going to be a versus of the Power Cubes. Now, obviously, we're not just doing the Yu-Gi-Oh! Power Cube. We're doing the Pokemon Power Cube to see which is going to be the better of the two. Again, Yu-Gi-Oh! versus Pokemon. Power Cube Edition. <laughs> now, obviously from these boxes, they advertise quite a potential good unboxing for these particular Power Cubes. So, well, I guess we'll put that to the test in today's video. But before we get there, guys, today's video was sponsored by our boys at Gem Loader. If you guys haven't seen my previous video promoting this with the acrylic case to protect your booster boxes, this, of course, is another one right down in the description. Very top row is the Amazon affiliate link, and it helps support the show. And of course, it goes a long way to making videos like this to, uh, I don't know, see which is better, Power Cube. <laughs> this, of course, is one of my examples of the Power Cube. Obviously, it has that top or bottom loader, depending on perspective. Magnetic, which is very, very cool. And of course, it protects for the collector in all of us to protect that high value booster box. If this was a legendary Blue Eyes Precision box, it might be in here, but those are things that are pretty expensive. But yeah, guys, go ahead and support the show by pressing that affiliate link, Buy, buying one for yourself to protect your booster boxes. If, you, if you're not into booster boxes, I have a different affiliate link for like, if you want to protect your cards using the acrylic case as well. If you check it out, and it goes a long way to making content like the Power Cube Edition or unboxing versus, I guess. But yes, back to the video. All right, guys, so the booster box here, or sorry, the Power Cube, we're gonna start with the Pokemon because you know we haven't seen Pokemon in a while. If you guys are curious if, if I'm gonna be doing the uh, up and coming, um, I guess the Terminal Forces, I do have this that was sent to me in my by a viewer like you. Um, if you guys want to send me stuff to open, definitely ch check out my uh, PO box in the description as well. Um, and who knows, your boxings might be unboxed in this video. But yes, enough self promotion. This there's like back to back promotion. I do apologize for that. But that wasn't intentional. It just happened to be that way because I was talking about the general forces. But uh, yes, let's go ahead and open up the Power Cube Mystery Box. Now, they advertise quite a bit of stuff on here. Obviously, they have the Gengar VMAX, uh, I believe the Leafeon right here. Yeah, the Leafeon and the Charizard GX. They're, just, they're, they're hyping it up like crazy. They even put, put like, uh, what is that, Umbreon, I think? Yeah, what the hell? Um, but uh, yeah, so they're really hyping this up to say you can get some great cards from this. But I guess we'll, we'll find out. We'll find out. I wasn't really planning on opening up any of the uh, the Temporal Forces, but since a viewer did send me and wants to know what's in it, um, then I'll definitely open up in a future video. I'm not sure when I'll be able to uh, doing that video. I'll just have to add it to my schedule and whatnot. But I do have a pretty packed schedule and I, I do have some interesting news um, of a, a future video down the road. And this one has a, has a click case as well, so I guess you could actually use this to protect the cards as well. And how the hell do you open it? Is it this way? Do you slide it? Do you push it? <laughs> it's like one of those, uh, slide it, push it. Pop it. Twist it. Oh. <laughs> Duh. Lift it up, idiot. Have you not done an unboxing before? This is actually a pretty good case too. I'm definitely using this to protect future cards. All right. So what's crazy about that? Like, I, I thought it was gonna be packs. Uh, they kind of—it kind of seems like it was gonna be packs, but it looks like it's not packs. It's just—it's just basically uh, open cards. But we're gonna check it out. And, and, and there's one actually in a uh, protective sleeve, and that was it. So the, the only thing that's really high value is, is probably the acrylic case here. But it is a nice case, though. I actually, I actually like this. It's definitely gonna be useful. All right, so I'm gonna save this, I guess, card for last. This one that's uh, protected in this top loader, and then we have these loose cards here. So we're gonna we're gonna keep it in the bottom and see what we get. Now, what, what I'm looking at from the side here, just as, as um, you know, someone checking it. Look at look, look at the different colored di digrations here. These are obviously the newer cards. These are like more the older cards, and yeah, that's. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. So I'm, I'm going to open up the older cards, I guess, last. Maybe it'll surprise me. Maybe it's a Charizard in there. 
doubt it. But you never know. All right, I guess uh, without further ado, let's uh, let's see how we can do this versus. Um, let me see. I guess so we'll we'll just go uh, card by card. I guess. Let me see. I'm not sure if it's gonna work in, in, as a versus, but uh, we'll, we'll we'll see what we get. If it's, if it's holographic, then we'll definitely you know grade it and, and see if it's worth uh, pricing out and uh, get any points for this versus. Speaking of points, if you guys haven't watched my previous video, this is how the point system works. If it breaks one dollar, that is one point. If it breaks five dollars, that's two points. If it breaks ten dollars, three points. Twenty dollars. That's four points. If it breaks the fifty-dollar mark, that is a five-pointer. If it breaks the coveted one hundred dollars, that is a six-pointer. I doubt we'll get that high, but again, we don't know. We don't know, and that's what this baby's all about. All right, let's do this without enough rambling. Well, um, we're just gonna do the Pokemon first, and then we're gonna slap into the Yu-Gi-Oh next. Uh, Timestamps, of course, in the bottom. All right, first card here is a regular. Magmar, I'm just hoping I'm just reviewing it like this. So Magmar, that's not holographic, so that, that is gonna be no points. I wonder if it shows what set it came out of. I have no idea. I don't know, I don't know those symbols. Alright, we have another non-holo spirit tomb. Another non-holo broomy. It'd be kind of funny if I if I actually don't don't get any points for any of these. So it the end up being a tie. So what's gonna be the worst? I don't know. They're both did they, they give me points and that'll be my first failure of a versus but uh, you know it is what it is I thought it'd be fun to do a versus for these two Star you of course non hollow there I don't even know if they're gonna show any hollows on, on these at all it might be it might just be that one hollow card which would be kind of unfortunate which means there's only one card versus one card in a versus Tropius there we have a sell you be a carry you be maybe I don't know, Cherry B? Ch Cherry B? Cherry Cher Ruby? Cherry Ruby, yeah. <laughs> uh, Swox, non hollow again. So, so far, not, not even a reverse hollow. We have a uh, Corbish, again, non hollow. The one thing I will say is that at least I haven't seen these in um, like in previous packs. So, I'm assuming these are like older packs. Uh, may maybe even Sword and Shield. It has to be Sword and Shield. Uh, Ch Chimigo, Lord Ch Chimico, Chimico, yeah. We have a uh, Bear Tick. But I, I had these like lingering around for a while, so I was like, might as well just open it and, and see see what's inside because um, I don't plan on doing a, a, like a singular video, a, a duplicate Magmar. That's kind of unfortunate. And Prim Prop. Yeah, I, I would, so if, if, if I just had this one like thing, it probably won't be a very exciting unboxing. But, uh, you know, it, 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 it was something that I found in Walmart. And usually, that's a sign right there. If it's in Walmart, it's probably not gonna be super great. Um, especially for like these uh, repackaged um, boxes and stuff like that. That's why I'd rather open up like uh, an actual official booster box because you actually might get something cool. Wow, this is an old seal. This is like, I don't, I'm not sure what gen generation this is. But that's an older style car there. I want to say, I mean, it says 2016, so it's probably a reprint. It was, it was probably from the reprint of the, the classic cards. Pecky Peak. And still no hollow there. We have the ribbon badge. So I'm assuming no points. I'll probably go individually to see uh, if there's any points potentially from these, but I'm really doubting it. Oh, Romaladian. That looks familiar. At least I remember that one. That looks like it's from... Again, I don't know what that symbol is. <laughs> uh, shopping center. I'll probably have annotations if I remember to put them of what, what pack it came out of. Not for every single card, but at least for the ones that I mentioned. Crystal Cave. Switching Cups. So far, I'm pretty sure there's no points for any of these. I'm like 95% sure. That's an older card. Uh, well, maybe not because it's Rapid Strike. So uh, at least Sword and Shield, I would imagine. Uh, Stroll of the Flying Dragon. Got an energy. Yay! Hopefully the rest are the not energies. <gasps> no! Grass energy! Fire energy! Oh, did we get chip guys? Steel? Grass? Fire! No! 
Well, I, I knew it was gonna be a terrible. Oh, we do have we can do a first reverse hollow. Probably not worth any points though. <laughs> so it's not all energies to, to the very end. Okay, we'll check out that price at a moment, but I'm pretty sure it's not nothing there. And then another reverse hollow, or just hollow in general, of Don Dozo. We'll check out that price. And then another reverse hollow of Katie. All right, before we actually look at the top loader one, let's check out these prices to see if we got any points for the Pokemon side of the house um, in terms of the power cube. I'm guessing no. All right, so, all right, so the reverse hollow of Katie here, as expected, 16 cents, so no points. And then another reverse hollow here of this Forges, I guess. And this one is 14 cents. All right, hollow, probably nothing either. At least they're all from the same pack, which is from the base set of Scarlet and Violet, which is SV01 for those that are curious. All right, this one is only 21 cents. So no points for those three hollow cards. Now we do have this card right here that's in this top loader. What is it? Ooh, it's a full art of Dark Star. All right. So we might, we might get one point, <laughs> maybe. All right, check out that card right there. So this is the only card that's worth of value. Now I'm trying to remember how much these cost, th th these Power Cube. And um, just from what I saw from, the, from Power Cube Pokemon stuff, I probably won't buy it. I'm not, I'm not that crazy for a game. If, if, if I want to get like this card, for example, I'll just go to TCG Player and just buy it outright. But yeah, this is not from the Sword and Shield, I don't think. So let's see what pack this came out of. Usually V-Stars are somewhat valuable, I guess. You would think. And it's not really a full art either. It's like more of like a illustration art, I guess. So this came out of Astral Radiance, it looks like. All right, drum roll, please. $1.82. That is one point. <laughs> one point. Will, will we end up in a tie? I think we might end up in a tie. <laughs> wow. All right, guys, we're jumping into the Yu-Gi-Oh! Power Cube now. And uh, not, not much high hopes for, uh, for this. So definitely check out my sponsor because uh, I need to make my money back for this. <laughs> uh, but uh, I guess in hindsight, you know, it was just an interesting experiment nonetheless. And I hope you guys enjoy this as well. Like, if for some reason you want you want to see more of it, you definitely need to support me by checking out the link as well as subscribing and liking this video, um, to, so we can we can open up more crazy, probably pointless cards like this. All right, but the only thing I really, you know, it's funny. The only thing I really like about it, well, except for this one, it's kind of damaged, but um, is the acrylic cases. Um, but obviously, there's better acrylic cases in um, over at Gem Loader. All right, I think this one actually includes packs. So this is actually gonna be significantly much better than the Pokemon one. Now, it, it depends on what packs, I guess. But so far, I'm kind of liking what I see so far because uh, these are cards I haven't seen in like ever. And they do come up with like individual sleeves as well. Before we check out what's in the, uh, the singles, if you will, well, th there are some packs that are included with this. This one is damaged, so I probably won't keep this acrylic case, to be honest. But um, I haven't, I, I never opened any of these packs. Well, this one did. This one I have not, and these I have not. Okay, so it for the packs that I did get is the, uh, the Tactical Masters, the Blazing Vortex. So if you guys want to check out my Blazing Vortex unboxing, check out that video right over there. And this one I haven't opened, which I'm actually kind of excited about is the Legendary Duelist Magical Heroes Light Edition. And what I like about it is I think they're all first editions. So that's kind of good. So I got I got like three of these. So I'm, ex I'm excited about what's inside of this. But I'm not sure why I call it the, the Light Edition. It makes me kind of nervous that they don't have any rare cards. But at least they give you first editions. So that's definitely a, a plus in my book. And if I'm just talking about Power Cubes in general, we can clearly see that Yu-Gi-Oh won this. And whatever this star pack is from the uh, Arc V, I think it was Arc V. I never, I never really got into Arc V. And it's not even the, dude, it's not even English. <laughs> it's not even English. It's like, 
that's, that's an Italian. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my God. But again, at least it's first edition, you know, way better than the Pokemon Power Cube. All right. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this in terms of like grades at all, but uh, I'm going to go with the singles as the uh, official grading. But if it ends up being a tie, then obviously I got these to open as well in the video. And I'm sure we'll win, but we can just see how badly they win because I mean, just flatter right now, they won in my, in my book. Let's check out the quality of the, the, the sides here. Again, we, we see a significant degradation of colors. The bottom here looks like it's a little faded. These are like more of the newer packs in the, the forefront or the, the top, I guess. So let's go ahead and uh, check it out. Let's see, what, let's see what we get. All right, uh, we have the gap of the Divine Soldier. I don't know what, what pack that came out of. This is first edition, PB. I don't know, maybe uh, Battles of Legends, maybe? Um, another physician. This is, this is like an older one, like a, the the older like Typhon. Is it real? Uh, I don't know. The, 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 I'm not sure if these are fake cards because the the font looks totally different. But um, yeah, it might be real. I mean, at least the first editions and the, the the font for the the name is right. I think it just looks different because it's like an older style print. Oh, we have a we have a hollow here. Uh, construction train signal red. Mm. Does that look real? It'd be kind. Of, it'd be kind of interesting if they do give you like fake cards in these power cubes. Who the hell package these? Purchase directly for the manufacturer. Purchase from a secondary market. We package it for a retail sale. Of. So MJ Holding Company LLC. They say they're not affiliated with any of the individual manufacturers and trading card company containing with the products. But yeah, they just basically bought a bunch and repackaged them. So, I don't know. MJ Holding, apparently. Is it a save for Pokemon? Yeah, save on Pokemon. All right, since we have a holo here, let's go check out this price and also find out what, what set it came out of. Okay, it came from Dragons of Legends. Okay, I never opened up those. They call it the complete series. Okay, sure. As expected, it took me longer than I wanted to see the price, but 21 cents for this one. So again, no points. All right, we have the Jurok. Pro Tops, the Magnetium Imaginings, like I'm imagining these being real cards, not fake. <laughs> the Purely Sleepy Memory, the Sak Saketama, uh, yeah, non hollow, non super, non rare even. We have the Super Heavy Samurai Soul Gaga Booster. Ga Ga Gain? Gain Booster? Gaia? Booster, me. One of those words. A lot of words, but a lot of words. The Cy Cyprus Sage. The Pendulum. Pendulum. Wait, Pendulum Moon. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty sure I pronounced it perfectly. The Super Heavy Samurai Monk Big Benkiai. A lot of pendulum summons here. The Hatsugai. Gai? Did how did I get here? Yep, exactly what I question myself every day for opening packs like this. We have the Bunny Ears Enthusiast, I think. Potential waifu? Maybe. Maybe maybe this is my April Fools. Even though like April Fools was two days from this recording session. Oop, we do get what is this? It's like a Oh, it's only a rare. I thought it was, I thought it was a, uh, a secret rare, but it's only a rare. The Exo Sister Armament. I'm not going to grade this one, though, for, for points. I'm pretty sure it's nothing. And we have another rare here. The Dunnell, the Noble Arms of Light. Another rare. Jeruri Punk Nasawari Surprise, I guess. The rare of the Psychic Tracker, terrible centering as well. Exactly what you expect from a power cube. The Starlit Papillion. Another rare of the Gaga Koo Punk Crash Beat. A rare Virtual World Hem Hemi Hymi, maybe? Yeah, this is from the Great Cr uh, Grand Creator. Great Creator or Grand Creator? One of those. 
At least I know what that stick came out of. Um, Botanica Lion. Kind of older style face, if you will. The card guard. Yeah, I definitely want to guard against this card. The backup warrior. I'm trying to think. I don't know what that PB01 is. The Luster Dragon. I'm just kind of out of curiosity, what, what pack this came out of? Battle pack, okay. The Epic Dawn, I think. Yeah, for all, a lot of the uh, PB01s. I'm not sure if those were the cards I was trying to collect, but I'll definitely check my list. Did it get darker? Oh yeah, it's probably because uh, I'm in a different... The uh, Go Go Go! <laughs> go 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 Go! Go Go Captain Planet! Or no, it was Go Go Gadget, sorry. Oh, I can't even get my references right. The Tie Band Nightmare. Another of the battle packs. The um, Air Knight Par Hash. I mean, uh, if, if for those Pokemon fans, at least Pokemon's winning with one point so far. <laughs> if that means anything. Utopian Aura. The XC Effect. The, sh the Shadow uh, Spell. I don't know what the YS13 pack is, but maybe I'll annotate it by the editors. The Dust Tornado. Classic card, reprinted multiple times. Call of the Haunted, a non hollow which kind of, um, you know, makes me suspicious that, that was, it was just a reprint set. The Magical Undertaker, speak of Undertaker, this, this, this is before WrestleMania, but uh, I heard it might be coming back, at least for a little appearance in WrestleMania. Okay, we get we get our next uh, super rare here, it, and it looks super fake, but whatever, we'll, we'll check it out. SR13, what the hell is SR13? It was a structure deck, wow. Really? <laughs> Dark Worlds? Possible. So they gave me a structure deck card, wow. Power Cube is amazing guys, buy all of it. Great card guys, 13 cents, 13 cents. <laughs> no points. All right, still got a few more cards from this pile here. We're starting to get more of the hollows, so maybe we'll get something worth something. All right, this is from the SYHO pack. The uh, Umbra Mirage, the Elemental Lord. Super rare only though, super rare only. So Cybernetic Horizon, which I'm pretty sure wasn't a good set either. The reason why I say that is because it's not one of the, car the, the packed sets that I'm trying to collect and complete in my collectible collection. Or else I would have remembered this name. Number 19, 13 cents for this bad boy. All right, another one here, uh, super rare only. The Phantom Knights of Fragile Armor. <laughs> Just like the fragileness of this acrylic case that came with it. So this came out of the Wing Raiders. I don't even know what that set is. Like what, what year did that come out? Editors help me out. All right, great card again, great card, 24 cents. So far, Pokemon's winning. We're at one point. All right, we have the Flash Fusion. At least they're first editions, right? At least. And hopefully they're not fake cards. So DRLG. Is it Dragon Legends again? All right. Great card, 20 cents. 20 cents. All right, the final card here is from the D... It's not even English. It's not even English, guys. Wow. The MJ Holding Company. Wow. I wonder what their net worth is for reselling these cards. That is terrible. It's like, it's, I think it's Italian again. Why are they giving me Italian cards? Uh, the Flute of Summoning Skull or Summoning Dragon, whatever. The Italian edition. What the? What? Is it even worth pricing out? I feel a little ripped off, but. Actually, this is Portuguese. Is it, if it's P042. Yeah. I think that's from Portugal. I mean, according to this, it's worth a decent price. <laughs> like, really? The Portugal, the flute of summoning skull, or summoning, I keep saying skull, but summoning dragon. Let's see, let's see what it says in, uh, well, they're not gonna give me English anyway. Oh, this is from the starter deck. 
the Star Deck Kaiba from the, the Portugal edition. That's probably why it was worth a, a, a pretty penny, even though it's uh even though it's a starter deck, like this is like one of the original starter decks that came out back in 2006 in Portugal. So that's probably why it's worth as high as it is. But still, guys, they gave me a Portugal first edition starter deck Kaiba card, Fluid of Summoning Dragon. <laughs> and it's worth about three dollars, guys. Three dollars. So one point, I guess. So, does somebody in Portugal want this? <laughs> do, we, do I have anybody in Portugal watching my videos? If you do, I got you. I got you a first edition Pluto Summoning Dragon um, from the Star Deck Kaiba. <laughs> wow. So that does end up in a tie, which means technically we go into overtime. And the only cards I have in overtime is the ones that came in. Because I'm trying to use the cards that are provided for me for this uh, versus. And since I didn't get any packs at all from the Pokemon uh, power, power deck, whatever. We're going to open up these packs and see what kind of points we get from, uh, from this. These are, these are actually ones I was collecting. So we'll see if there's anything cool in there. So the first one we're going to open up is the uh, Blazing Vortex first edition. So... Who knows? Who knows? Maybe I'll get a Starlight Rare from this. I think it's four to the front. All right, we have the Armored Dragon Ritual. The, the Dream Mirror Recap. Now, this is one of, I think this is one of the very first packs I opened up for, for this channel. Maybe. There might have been other packs I opened up, maybe. Um, but... I definitely remember, I highly think about the, the Blazing Vortex was one of the, the earlier packs I opened up uh, when I first started doing Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! unboxings. So, a little bit nostalgic, a little bit, but there, there wasn't like super great cards from this set that I remember, um, but uh, yeah, you never know. You never know. The Sprigget. And we do get a super rare here, so nothing great. The S-Force. Orifice. Orifice. Probably not worth any points. Blazing Vortex. Number 13 is only 21 cents for this, so no points. Next one here is the Tentacle Masters. Um, I think I, I think I opened a few for maybe a one-pack pull. I'm not sure if it's if it aired yet. Because I, I I do open up a lot of packs for the one-pack pull challenges. And there's a lot of uh, sets that um, haven't been officially released but episode wise but uh, i do have a you know pipeline to open up some of these um just because i think these are how many packs how many packs are i think it's seven right it's probably like three to the four i think okay it was four it was still four okay so the anti-spell fragrance so these are there's gonna be rare and then that one either super rare or ultra whatever scapegoat classic classic card um, Labyrinth Archfiend, and from what I understand about this set as well, it wasn't a very popular set. I think it's a collector set or a collector's rare set, whatever. So usually those are pretty infamous. Either they hit it out of park with like two chaos, for example, or they, they turn to be like duds like this one. The Runic Smithing Storm, the Fiend Grieving, and a super rare only of the. Munning the runic wings. Probably not anything significant. 38, this is only a 27 cents. So again, no points. Wow, this is a great set. All right, before we open up the Legendary Duelist Magical Heroes, I want to open up these Italian cards. This is crazy. They gave me Italian cards and also they gave me a Portuguese first edition Star Day Kaiba. All right, let's see what's inside of these. If I can even read it. Uh, Pukora Furas. It has a horrible accent, I'm sorry. And if, if I have any Italian viewers, don't kill me. Dato Tercetin. And then we have the Pa Ano Istmo, which there, there's actually no hollows at all for these. Wow. Wow. So the, I'm, I'm guessing this is like one of those like uh, packs you might get like uh, for 
like cereal boxes or you know you know like those kind of things where they give you like you know for fun for little kids um mayo shenju diabak pakatori legendario the legendary fisherman mitsae punto punto urgently or, oh, this is hollow. Oh, wait. It's one of those like scattered hollow ones. Oh, those are terrible. I hate those. Okay. I didn't realize it was hollow until I saw it. So it, it's probably hard to see in camera, but it's like it has a little bit of those like that, that scattered pattern hollow thing. I hate those hollows. So I guess we will price these two out, even though they're Italian. <laughs> All right. This is what I'm saying it's, uh, it's 40 euros for this one. So it does not break a euro? <laughs> What's the exchange rate for, for euros and uh, aren't they like close to one to one right now? Yeah, they're about one to one. So like one euro is a dollar and eight cents as a this recording session. And this one, according to this, this is uh, two euro and 10 pence. I don't, I don't know what the, uh, the cents equivalent is. But I guess technically, this is a point. This is a point for Yu-Gi-Oh. Italian for the win. All right, so the three packs that I, that I really went and opened is this one right here. Now this all came with the power cube. So as of right now, Yu-Gi-Oh won. So if you guys want to tune in now, I totally get it. But I'm just curious to see what cards we get from this pack. And if you, have, if you are sticking around, thank you so much for the view. All right, we have the Chronograph Sorcerer. Uh, and this one is first edition as well. We have the Hero Lives. And a rare here only of the Subaba ba Bancho Gaga -ga -ga Coat. I, I wasn't stuttering, that's, a, that's the name of the card. That's probably not worth any points. I'm not even gonna price it out. Actually, I will, I will. Because it's actually English and then I can actually switch for it. Yeah, so this Legendary Duelist number six, for those that were curious. Number 35 is only 22 cents. So I figured it won't be worth anything. But at least I actually was looking for this pattern to complete my collection of the magical heroes. All right, next pack. All right, we have the Illusionist Magic. Very cool, very cool. We have the Winged Karibo. And we have another super rare, or sorry, a rare only, a rare only, of the Doo Doo Doo, no, oh, Doo Doo Doe Wolf. Go, 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 golf. That was definitely from like the, uh, uh, what generation was that? Uh, I have it a tip my, my my mouth what generation it was, but I, I hated those cards so much. All right, final pack, guys. Final pack, the light edition, apparently. But uh, press the like for luck, I guess. Or at least press the like for me suffering through the power cube versus. <laughs> Why did I think that was a good idea? Why? Who gave me that idea? All right, we have the um, harmonize, uh, Harmonizing Magician, which is like actually kind of a cute card, actually. With a Cosmic Blazer Dragon, and yet another rare card. Not even a super rare. That's kind of insanity to insan insan me. So this is the Performer Pal Puppet Popper Up. Oh, I totally butchered that one. Totally butchered it. That's probably not worth anything. Is it even worth pricing out? Uh, let the, yeah. 14 cents. It's 14 cents. <laughs> so guys, that's the final score. Wow. I think essentially two to one. I think that that was the final score. That's terrible. That's probably the worst versus I ever done. And I, I apologize for those that stuck around, but the winning card to solidify the win for the Power Cube Yu-Gi-Oh! Edition is an Italian card. Is that an American card? It's an Italian card. I mean, it's cool to get a Star Deck Kaiba first edition, so, but not the card we're looking for. 
wow. But I guess thank you guys for tuning in. If you guys are curious to see like, you know, where's Hunter recently? You know, he hasn't been in my videos. If you guys want to see Hunter, obviously you can check out my Instagram for all those cute highlights of my boy Hunter. But we do have a video that we did together and it features another versus, probably a more interesting versus, and this is featuring OTS-1. Now, the reason why they're envelopes is because these are individually card packs that are inside of these. I don't know what they're inside. They were shuffled by my wife um, as a third-party resource. So this one is my hand. This is actually my son's Hunter's hand. So I don't know what cards are there, but it's gonna be a verse featuring OTS-1 to see who would win. My son, who picked this packs out himself. I'll show a video of that in the future. As well as this one that I picked out myself. More like the remaining packs that he didn't he didn't choose, essentially. But uh, it's gonna be interesting versus, it's, it's one of the only, uh, and the reason why I did this is so that way I can complete my collection because it's, it's very, very hard to find packs for OTS1 because it came out so long ago. And it's, if you look at eBay, it's very hard to find a reasonable price OTS1 Un unopened packs. So I, I had a, uh, I had a pretty much bought every single card from that OTS to create a versus and randomly selecting which is my cards and which is my son's. And as I mentioned before, I will be opening this fan sent over this, this Pokemon uh, tem Temporal? Temporal Forces, yeah. Like I wasn't expecting to open it, but since it was sent to me, I'll do the favor and open it for you. And finally guys, Support this channel, please, by checking out my affiliate link down below. Go ahead and get your acrylic cases, as well as whether it be for a booster box or just, you know, cards in general. These are actually pretty solid. They're not the best. Obviously, Gem Loader will have a better acrylic cases for just individual single cards like that. But uh, booster boxes and all that good stuff. First link in the affiliate to support the show. And open up these crazy packs that no one really wants to open, but I'm crazy enough to open it for you. So basically, so you don't have to, essentially, right? But anyway, enough of a rambling setup motion. Thank you guys so much for the view. My name is Talos. This was a interesting video, but I'll definitely see you there. Peace.